Welcome to Computer Science 320, 2014 Winter 2's midterm practice problems. We're continuing problem 8, we're working on part 2 now, and we've repeated the algorithm up here. We're supposed to give and justify a good non-asymptotic lower bound on the number of iterations of the loop performed in any, on any graph. And this is saying it's supposed to be a precise formula, not an O, little o, theta, omega, or little omega bound. So we actually have to compute how many iterations will this run. Okay, and remember, what we're given here is n, the number of vertices, what we usually call that cardinality of v, and d max, that's the maximum degree of any vertex. So uh, if those are the only tools we have, what sort of lower bound on the number of iterations can we give? Well, remember, we stop running this loop when we run out of nodes. So what can we do to make ourselves run out of nodes as fast as possible? Well, we always remove one node. And then additionally, we remove all the nodes adjacent to that one node. So what we'd like to do is remove as many additional nodes as possible. We're going to get one here, no matter what. What's the maximum number we'll get here? Well, it's just d max, the maximum degree. So we can remove 1 plus d max nodes on each iteration until there are no nodes left in the graph. So this is going to be something like the number of nodes divided by 1 plus d max iterations. But anytime you write something like this and somebody asks you for a precise formula, you should, unfortunately, actually start thinking about floors and ceilings, and are you off by one, and that sort of thing. And personally, I find the easiest way to handle that to first try some examples, and then see if I can figure out uh, if my bound actually looks right. So let's say that dmax is 4. Uh, example, dmax is equal to 4. And let's say that I have um, six nodes in the graph. n is equal to six. Then there are still remaining nodes left in the graph. I'm going to remove a node and all the nodes adjacent to it. So I'll remove five. And I'll have one left over. And I am going to have to go through the loop again. So in this case, six divided by five is one point something. But I'm going to end up with an answer of two. So I'm just going to guess here that this is going to be ceiling because of that. Ceiling worked out for this particular problem, so maybe it's the ceiling. In general, if n is evenly divisible by 1 plus d max, then our lower bound on the number of iterations of the loop here should probably apply, uh, assuming we can actually achieve it. But just thinking about the graph abstractly, we remove a node, we remove all the nodes connected to it, that's 1 plus d max nodes. If we keep taking bytes out of that size, and there's an even number of those bytes, then we should get just the right number of iterations. So we really do want a formula like this just with floor or ceiling. Ceiling seems to make more sense, and it kind of works with that byte thing too, right? If you're taking bytes out of a particular size, um, um, remember sound effects are important, um, 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 and you're left with some small byte left over, you need another iteration to get that small byte out. So even if this is too small, so even if leftovers are too small, still need one iteration. You still need one more iteration to get rid of them. So that justifies the ceiling for me, so I'm going to be happy with that bound.